Hello everyone, welcome to Career Point Electrical. For this channel, if you are an electrical engineering student of BTEC, then you will get any type of sub subject solution for this channel. So, if you not subscribe this channel, please go to the channel and subscribe this. So, today is Network Theory lecture and we will discuss numericals on steady state analysis. So, what do you mean by steady state analysis? Steady state analysis, you will go to the previous lecture video. Then, numericals on steady state analysis, if you are a get aspirant up to 2021, then it is very important to you to solve the network problem of steady state analysis. So, come to the first <coughs> problem in a circuit, four currents are meeting at a point, then find the resultant current. So, what, what is my four currents? That is, if I1 is equal to 5 sin omega t, I2 is equal to 10 sin omega t minus 30 degree, and I3 is equal to 5 cos omega t minus 30 degree, and I4 is equal to minus 10 cos omega t plus 45 degree. So, <coughs> there are four currents meeting at a point. This is my point, or I will say it is a node. So, here we will apply nodal analysis. So, before we apply nodal analysis, let us arrange the current that is I1 is equal to 5 sin omega t, I2 is equal to 10 sin omega t minus 30 and I3 is equal to 5 cos omega t minus 30. It will convert it to 5 sin omega t plus 60 degree. Then what is my I4 value? I4 is equal to minus 10 cos omega t plus 45, then it is converted to 10 sin omega t plus 225 degree. So, now <coughs> let us convert this time domain current to the frequency domain. So, what is my frequency domain current? I1 is equal to or feather domain. What is my feather domain? I1 is equal to 5 root 2 at an angle 0 degree. That is equal to 3.35 at an angle 0 degree. Now, what is my I2 value? I2 is equal to 10 root 2 at an angle minus 30 degree. So, 7.07 .07 at an angle minus 30 degree. Then, what is my I3 value? I3 is equal to 5 root 2 <coughs> at an angle 60 degree. That is equal to 3.35 at an angle 60 degree. Then, what is my I4 value? That is equal to 10 pi root 2 at an angle 2 to 5 degree that is 7.07 .07 at an angle 2 to 5 degree. So, <coughs> this four current I will convert it from time domain to phasor domain. Now, we will solve proceeding to the solve. So, if this is my current, then what is my resultant current? So, I will erase this. Okay, my resultant current is I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4. This is my resultant current. So, I will add all the current that is equal to 3.35 at an angle 0 plus 7.07 .07 at an angle minus 30 plus 3.35 at an angle 60 degree plus 7.07 .07 at an angle 2 to 5 degree. So, what is my resultant current? That is equal to 8.84 at an angle minus 40.36 degree. So, this is my resultant current. Now, what is my I value? I is equal to 8.84 root 2 
sin omega t minus 40.36 degree so this is my resultant current <coughs> this is my resultant current total current i so this is the procedure of solving this problem now this problem is a very simple problem of steady state analysis let us discuss another problem that is so if you are get aspirant then you definitely go through this problem this is the previous year get problem this problem includes previous year get problem so find out for the circuit sun in figure find out the value of ammeter a so what is my circuit this is ammeter a a1 a2 this is my r l and a if a1 is equal to 6 ampere and a2 is equal to 8 ampere so <coughs> here in this problem this you clearly show that this is a rl r l parallel circuit so here rl parallel circuit is given now if rl parallel circuit is given then i is equal to total current root over of i1 no square plus i2 no square if this is my current i and this is i1 and this is i2 so that is equal to root over of 6 square plus 8 square that is equal to root over of 100 that is equal to 10 ampere so then what is my a value the ammeter a reads 10 ampere so this is the problem 2 of the previous year get problem now okay next is for the circuit given below find out the current i so you just clearly refer to the figure this is a r l c r l c series circuit so what is my given data RLC series circuit R is given that is equal to 20 ohm V is given 10 at an angle 0 degree now L and C is not given L and C is not given LC value is not given but V L is equal to 200 volt is given and V C is equal to 200 volt is given so now refer to the previous lecture video if it is rlc series circuit then there are three condition here the condition three is applied what is my condition three if vl is equal to vc then the circuit is in resonance condition resonance condition okay so here 
VL, what is my VL value? That is equal to 200 volt. What is my VC value? That is equal to 200 volt. So, VL is equal to VC. Then, this circuit is in a resonance condition. So, if it is resonance condition, what is my I value? I is equal to V by R. That is equal to 10 by 20, 1 by 2, 0 0.5 ampere. Okay. This is the resonance condition problem. So, this is one of the get problem. Now, okay. Next, we will discuss another problem. Refer to the figure for the for the circuit sun in figure I one leads I two by this angle. Or so. What is my figure? P plus or minus omega is equal to 2 radian per second. Now, this is my C value. I C. One ohm, sorry, two ohm. This is my two ohm register, and this is my one Henry inductance. So this is my I two value. Now, for this figure, you so, <coughs> what is my I one value? So I one is equal to I C because the current through the capacitance is I C. Now. What is my IC value? V by XC. V by XC at an angle 90 degree. Okay. Now, this is my I1 value. So, if this is my I1 value, what is my I2 value? That is equal to V by 2 plus J2 because this is a RL parallel RL series circuit. RL circuit so R plus omega L so what is the omega L that is equal to J2 omega L equal to J2 ohm now this is your minus 40, 45 degree sorry plus 45 degree so V by 2 root 2 45 degree now here you get i1 value and i2 value so if you get i1 value and i2 value then what is what i1 leads the for i2 so for that you just refer to the vector diagram this is my v value now if this is my v value what is my i1 i1 is leads so this is this, what is your, what is this angle this angle is 90 degree okay now for this voltage if you take the reference voltage then i1 is leads by an angle 90 degree now if you take voltage as reference then what is my i2 i2 lacks by an angle 45 degree so i1 is leads to the voltage v by an angle 90 degree but i2 is lax to the voltage by an angle 45 degree so what is my voltage what is my angle between i1 and i2 so angle between i1 and i2 is equal to 90 degree plus 45 degree that is equal to 135 degree so what is the answer for this circuit so in figure i1 leads by i2 is by 135 degree so this is also another get level question now so this is the sum of the numericals solved by me that is your numericals on steady state analysis for more numericals you can follow in my telegram link i will give to the description box for more problem solving question and solution you will follow my telegram link i will give to the telegram link 
and another is i will start electrical machine chapter that is a transformer one so for more videos on electrical machine you can go to my channel and subscribe my channel